Hey guys, BNSF9370. Going to do another layout update. As you can see, quite a bit has gotten done since the last time that I had a video. I uh, was able to get the decking all down. Uh, I got the foam board down and then also the framing and the masonite board for the backdrop. Uh, I've also cut this section of the layout uh, out for now. It's easier for me to get in and out of here to, to do things and move materials in and out. And then this area will probably become either a lift out bridge or a swing bridge. I don't know which one yet. I know they're problematic. So I'm going to do a lot of research on it and see if there are videos out there of guys that have found good ways to make one of these. Um, successfully without having many problems. I'm, if I had guessed, they're never, none of them are going to be 100% uh, fail-proof. So this isn't going to be a long update. There's not a whole lot to show here. I'm going to start laying track here soon. So that's look, looking forward to that for sure. And it's been a long time since I've been able to run anything down here. So, if any of you have any questions, I can walk you through a couple things real quick that I did. For the masonite on the walls, that is just directly mounted to the, uh, the walls there with tap cons uh, into the cinder blocks. Uh, on the back of that masonite, there is liquid nails. And basically, the tap cons are just going to stay there temporarily. I will eventually pull them out because they didn't recess very well at all. Um, they like to strip out of the cinder blocks. So I'm just using them to kind of keep pressure on that glue. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, forget, liquid nails. So that stuff takes up to 48 hours to fully set up. So I'm going to give it uh, the time that it needs to, to set up there. And then on any of the walls that I did not have cinder blocks. Um, we'll go to the back side of this here. I just simply did little uprights here, um, slightly smaller than the top of the masonite, just so that it wouldn't be sticking up and I didn't have to be very specific as far as uh, screwing that off. And as you can see, so on inside corners, you can see you don't lose much of your layout when you do uh, the curved walls there. Um, you can kind of tell, you know, you can see it very well, but you don't lose much of your layout. I think it just looks so much better when you do that. I do have a couple inside corners that I'm not going to do that to. Um, for instance, it'll be that wall there and then also over there. And the reason for that is I would actually have to kind of carve the drywall out a little bit to get that masonite to go in there and finish properly. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that would be fine for now. If I end up changing it later, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but there's a lot of things different about this layout than my old layout. And I would definitely like to forward on uh, some of that knowledge. Uh, for one, if you're thinking about using 2x4s for your cross bracing underneath your layout. So for instance, it would be this area here. I would highly advise against doing that. Uh, the biggest reason for that is because you run into issues of switch points being in the middle of your 2x4s, whereas it's a little less likely for 1x4s, not to mention the weight. Um, the only places I use 2x4s underneath would be where I have a seam in my uh, plywood. Another thing would be the plywood thickness. I use some very thin stuff like quarter inch. I would not suggest doing that at all. I had warping really bad, which also caused the glue to pull away from the foam board insulation. This stuff here, when I cut that section out over there, I got to really test to see how well I bonded that glue. And by far uh, the best adhesion I've seen. So, and what I did is I just laid some of my weights on top of that while it dried for a couple days just to let it get fully set. So that would be another thing that I would highly, uh, you know, suggest doing is putting some weight on top of it while it sets up. Um, another thing I did on this layout, which I didn't do on the last layout, is I made these little 
pieces here that attach to the layout. Um, this will keep the legs from being kicked one way or the other. The last time I had a layout, I didn't do that. Um, you'd walk by it, you'd kick it, and you know eventually the layout was way out of plumb and level. Uh, not to mention it wasn't attached to the walls anywhere, so it was it was easy to get your peninsulas bumped and moved, and that, that's just it's that's not good. Uh, so on my underneath side of these. Uh, I put these little uprights in here, which I attached to the wall. They're screwed in from the back with three inch screws and then just attached here um, to the bottom of your one by fours. That is very strong. I climbed all over this thing, putting up this masonite and it didn't move at all. That probably has a lot to do with also the three quarter inch plywood that is not needed for an HO scale layout, but it is the material that was being thrown away on a job that I was on. So I, took advantage of it and used it here. So half inch would be definitely um, sufficient for an HO scale layout. I, I don't think I missed anything uh, as far as what I would suggest doing to a layout if you're getting ready to start. Definitely do some thinking about your track planning. That was another big thing. I've got a lot more of an idea of what I want and how, if I can have it rather than just flying by the seat of my pants putting it on the layout and then finding out, hey, that's not going to work. And then it just it just doesn't end up looking very nice at all or very well planned. So maybe next time that I do a layout update, maybe we'll have some track down, an idea how I'm going to do that bridge over there. Um, other than that, that's all I have for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I've had a good time building this so far. It's been a lot of fun. I like getting on uh, YouTube and reading all the comments and you know the the guys that have experience and uh, just kind of going back also and watching some of my old videos compared to now it's a night and day and I go back and watch them and I just realized that you know it was just never it was never gonna work I got in over my head not to mention not enough planning so do your planning do your homework don't get in over your head uh, just starting out go small because when I had to tear it out, it was, that's an expensive, expensive thing to have to do is to rip out an entire layout that you have spent so much hard earned money and time on. And it, there was no point in that had I just, had I just did a little bit more planning and uh, better construction, used better materials, it could have all been avoided. So thanks for watching.